now let us discuss about how to display data in javascript with the help of different ways first let us see the first way the first way of displaying the data in uh, uh, javascript is with the help of uh, uh, write method write method is available in document object so here the syntax is we have to use document object so document dot write off within the double quotations we need to place the content which we want to display welcome to javascript programming welcome to javascript programming so this is the first way of displaying data in javascript let us save the program and run it run it okay so here data is displayed normally without any formatting features if you want let us place the content within the header tag so that the content will be displayed in larger font sizes as well as in the bold style okay if you observe the output here welcome to javascript programming so this is the first way of displaying the data in javascript now let us see the second way the second way is uh, here also we have to use document object only in document object we have a method called get element by id we know the naming conventions for a method in javascript method always starts with the lower case letter so g is starting with uh, lower case letter only next uh, every inner word starts with upper case letter so in element e is upper case letter in by b is upper case letter in id just uh, i is upper case letter next we have to provide id of the tag okay in get element by id method we have a property called inner html property so we have to use inner html property in order to display the content in the body tag let us use a tag element let us use paragraph tag element not only paragraph tag element we can use any tag element so p we have to use id attribute id is equal to let name of the id is demo demo next to close the paragraph tag element now use the corresponding syntax so now we have to use document object document dot what is the name of the method get element by get element by id of what is the name of the id here the id is demo demo then what will happen is when we use get element by id method it returns the element with the id demo with the id demo what is the tag element paragraph tag element so it returns the paragraph tag element now in place of that paragraph tag element change the content of the paragraph tag element to here with the help of the inner html property we can change the content of the paragraph okay we can place some content in that paragraph is equal to uh, let us uh, let us place some content here hello world now what will happen is in paragraph position what will happen hello world will be displayed hello world will be displayed so this is the second way of if we observe here here we got hello world as the output if we want we can apply the formatting features also hello world okay this is the second way of displaying the content in javascript now let us see the third way third way is we use window dot alert method so what is the third way alert method alert method is available in which object window object window dot alert method okay so it is mainly useful in order to alert the user in order to display some message to the user window dot alert of let us display some message here hello hi hello hi hello control s now let us run the program if you run the program here this is nothing but alert box alert box contains some messages and it, it has okay button so we have to click on the okay button in order to proceed so this is the third way of displaying message in the javascript now let us see the fourth way fourth way is we use log method log method is available in console object so it is mainly useful in order to display some message in the console 
in order to display not in the browser so till now we use as document dot write as well as uh, get element by id method as well as select method in order to write some message in the browser in order to display some message in the browser whereas we are using console dot log in order to display some message in the console console so let us see how we can display the console let us run the program let us run the program let us uh, uh, place this in the window dot let method within the comments within the comments or if we want uh, uh, we can uh, execute the program without placing in comment also there is no problem let us run the program in order to see the console in browser we have to click on control shift j control shift j so if we if we write control shift if we display uh, if we press on control shift j then elements tab console tab sources tab as well as network tab will be printed so in console if we observe here here we got output as javascript so console dot log is mainly useful in order to display some message in the console this is the console so how to display the console in the browser in order to display the console we need to press control shift control shift j okay so this is about how we can display uh data in javascript in different ways okay